seconds. Dublin's 98FM. Hi everybody, this is Aideen from 98FM News and the Ray Foley Show and 98FM Fashion, which is a new section for the website. And actually this is the first video post for it uh, because it's a momentous occasion. Now I don't mean to be too dramatic, but Space NK has opened in Dublin. I repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> and um, it's special because it's got lots of products that you'll never have been able to buy in Ireland before. I mean, you can buy them on the internet. There's the likes of Kevin O'Quan and Sunday Riley and Sam Farmer. And the, I mean, you can buy them online, but you'd never be able to test them. So it's really cool that you can come in, try them out. Um, and they are expensive enough. Let's you know, make no bones about Some it. Some of them. Some of them. But, and so Caroline Hirons is here, and Caroline is a skincare guru. I know you're probably too modest to say that about yourself, but what she doesn't know about skincare is not worth knowing, and I'm not the only person who has said that. It's just why you're here, Caroline. So, um, well, maybe I'll start off with a question then, or maybe you could tell our listeners, our viewers, what, you're, what you do and what you're doing in Dublin. Um, I'm here, actually, I'm here really to do training for the brands that I work with. So I worked with four brands, came over to train the guys, and then thought, well, while I'm there, I just sort of tweeted, oh, I'm going to be in Dublin. And it kind of went a bit crazy, so I was like, well, I'll just meet some people then. So, and, but now they're queuing in the street, and I have guilt because it's raining. No, don't be sorry. They're only too <laughs> delighted. So my first question is, now, because I mentioned there as well, that some of the brands are quite pricey. Do you have to spend a lot of money on skincare? Or where can you save, and where should you be forking out the money? <laughs> So you're going to say something else then. Um, you can save on things like cleansers mm -hmm. and moisturizers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You should fork out money for good acids and okay. serums. Can you explain what good acids are? So that sounds kind of trippy. Good acids. Okay. Um, exfoliating acids. So where you would normally use um, a toner, it would be an exfoliating acid toner. And serums, because serums are formulated to fix a skin condition, whereas moisturizers are more formulated to sit with your skin type. If what that makes sense? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, most people don't use a toner. They think they don't need to. So you're saying, like, look for an acid toner. What would you look out for? What brands or what ingredients should be on the side of the bottle? Well, in, it, it'll, it'll be things like lactic acid, glycolic acid. You know, it's not a toner that you would use in the old-fashioned way of you use a cleansing milk and then you take off the residue of it with your toner. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a second step. So you clean your skin and then it's a bit like taking your face to the gym. So you use good acids and they'll exfoliate and that means that anything you follow it with will penetrate better. Okay, okay. So this is a question from Ray Foley who is the presenter of our breakfast show. We have a man's <laughs> question to go first. He was asking, how do you get rid of milia around the eye? You have to get them taken out. So milia is basically where the keratin hasn't been exposed. So it's, a, it's, a, it's in layman's terms, it's a blocked pore that hasn't oxidized. So it's, but you can only have it taken out by a pro. You don't want to go stabbing at it yourself because okay. you're going to scar. I think he does that. No, he can't be I, doing I that. He... I'll come around with a needle. Which is why he's on radio. I'll come around with, he has a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Arlene in Glasnevin wants to know, is it okay to wear makeup every day? Yes. Do you have any, oh great, okay. And do you have any tips for healing acne scars? Um, use good pigment correctors. So SkinCeuticals do good pigment correctors. Use retinol products. Vitamin A is your friend. Anything that contains a good, strong vitamin A. What and else? I've heard that uh, you would need to wear an SPF if you're using those products. Is that true? Uh, you need to use an SPF if you are... You, well, okay, you don't have to, but the idea is you want to protect the skin that's sort of fresh and exposed. You know, you don't want to fix the damage and then keep having to fix it. Okay. So, yeah, you would. But the only... It's a bit of a fallacy that all acids make you sun-sensitive. The only acid that makes you sun-sensitive is glycolic. Okay. What's the quickest way to clear a breakout? Um, I would go at it from both a drying out section, a drying out system and an oil system. So use a targeted spot treatment, but then layer it with oil. So good facial oil. So that you kind of keep the area around it firm and um, plumped out, which means it just makes it easier for it to, it'll either go away or it'll come out and you can pop it. Are there any brands you'd recommend for that? Um, Aesop do a good control gel. And then any of the facial oils that you would use, you can use. Um, Emma in Dublin One wants to know if you have any tips for blotchy red pale Irish skin. Yes, that's the 50th time I've been asked that in the last hour. Um, if you're talking about rosacea, it's a different kettle of skin. You know, you're, you are genetically predisposed to What it. is rosacea? Rosacea is just when, well, to look at it, you just have very red cheeks. <laughs> Um, and there's varying degrees. So, but if you just are worried, do you mean more from a skincare point of view, or? Well, I suppose, yeah. I mean, if what can you do if you can't 
fix or change that? What can you do to mask it or hide it? Well, makeup masks everything. You know, as long as you're taking good care, good care of your skin underneath. Use, you know, I always say to people who are obsessive about blackheads, blackheads are the least of your worries. They're really hard to see unless they're really visible. And if they're really visible, you can probably get them out. If they're not really visible, why are you looking at them in a mag mirror and obsessing about them when the rest of your face is probably clear? And um, Georgie, our entertainment editor, who I forgot, I'm very rude not to have introduced Georgie. Georgie, give us a nod on the camera. She's filming this. <laughs> Georgie wants to know why you say you should have a skincare wardrobe like several products on the go because a facialist told her you should always stick to the same ones. A uh, facialist is wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Georgie. <laughs> um, we well, your skin's different every day. You know, especially for girls, your skin's different every month. You know, it's, your skin is different every single day. So you don't spend a fortune, but you certainly need to have a milk cleanser, a gel or a gel cleanser, an oily balm cleanser, acid toners, different serums. You know, sometimes you might have a bit of redness. You want to take that down with a serum. Some days you might be more worried about pigmentation. That makes sense. Wear, wearing the same skincare every day is like wearing the same pair of shoes every day. Eventually they wear out. Okay. I'm yeah. full of them. Any, are skin supplements any good? You know the ones you can buy in Boots or the drugstore? Yeah. Are they any good? I mean, I'm more of an advocate of supplements that are sort of food supplements, like fish oils uh -huh. or um, the plant version of omegas. So Zellens do perilla oil. You could use those. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's something in them. How strong they are would depend on what the contents are. I'm not so much an advocate of multivitamins because they can always trigger something. So for example, B6 for me is a trigger. So if I take a multivitamin and it has B6, I'm going to get spots. How, would you, how do you know that? Like, how would you I get know, to know it from that? years and years of, you know, but and B vitamins can trigger acne. So they, they don't, they always, but they can. And in some people, it's B12. Right, okay. So people who are on multivitamin, sometimes they'll be like, I'm trying everything I can. I'm taking multivitamins. And I go, stop. What are you taking? Okay, right. Um, any cardinal sins or common skincare misnomers that really annoy you? Oh, God, that you have to, your skin has to be, your skin has to be squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. You're not a mouse. Okay. Nothing needs to squeak on the face. Oh, you mean like actually products that will make your okay? Right. No, stop it. So, what is your um, your your kind of your the products you would recommend since you're here and everything and Space NK is new to us? It is. It's very warm. What um, what would you recommend? What are your holy grail products here? We'll say in Space NK, I go more across brands and have a nosy. So. Um, all the doctors, they have a nice wall of doctors when you come in, and I like a doctor brand. Um, so, Zellens, De Dennis Gross, um, my mind's gone completely blank. Um, Osteo here, so Amora here. Well. I love Dr. Pericone, thank you. Now, these are very pricey, so, you know, Some someone's, com someone's coming in, they're a bit budget conscious, and they need one product. They're not going to be able to get a whole skincare wardrobe out of serum. But the serum is only going to work if you're cleansing properly. Okay, and what's cleansing properly? If you're using a face wipe and you have a 300 pound serum, you might as well use it on your bum. Because <laughs> it's not going to penetrate. Really? So, right, so we're talking cleansers now. Mm -hmm. Are there cleansers that won't break the bank that you would recommend? Oh, there's lots of cleansers, especially in here. There's the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I think that's 30 something. Um, bearing in mind, I'm trying to think of pounds to euros. Sorry. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll translate all that. I, if we do that here, I'll put the translation in the box or okay. the conversion um, even translation. Yeah, no, there's lots. You just you don't have to spend a fortune, and I wouldn't spend an absolute fortune on a cleanser, to be honest, because you're going to wash it off, you know. But there are certainly good ones you can do. Sarah Chapman does a lovely cleanser. Um, it, it depends on your skin type, but yes, get cleansing. Mm -hmm. No facial wipes. A lot of people don't really know their skin very well. Like, what's, should you go to a facialist to figure that out? Should Depends who the facialist works for. If uh -huh. the facialist is independent, yes. If they work for a brand, no. Because okay. ultimately they're going to be targeted and have... And that's not their fault, that's the industry. But, you you know, if you come here, at least you get to speak to people about different product. Mm -hmm. One of the things I found very memorable from your website was... Oh God. ...was the fact that if you... Because I used to have very oily skin and that the beauty industry targets people with oily skin with these oil free products that strip it even further so you say you should be putting oil on absolutely it. yeah an oil an oily skin that is deprived of oil will just get oilier so you know if you put oil on it it's a bit like just soothing a child you know it's like giving a child a dummy instead of a bottle just it's going to be soothed 
calm down. <laughs> but you don't, you know, if, you, if you're using a foaming face wash and then using an oil-free product, you're punishing your skin, you know, and all your skin is trying to do is tell you something. You know, the industry is sort of, not all brands, but some brands are very good at telling people to punish their face. You should do this and dry it out with this. And I'm like, this is your skin you're talking about. It's not an enemy. Mm-hmm. You know, if you look in the mirror, you're looking at yourself. Why would you want to punish yourself? See, I told you she knew so much. This is amazing. Caroline, thank you so you're much welcome. for um, taking the time out to chat to us today. Thanks for coming. And um, we will put all the details of your website on the 98FM website as well, so you can check it out there. Thanks. Bye. 98 Seconds. Dublin's 98FM.